Hello, this is Palico Padge, and welcome back to another episode of the Curious Expedition with Mods. We are currently on Expedition 4, or about to start Expedition 4, with Nostradamus. And we had an awful, awful, awful Expedition 3, to be honest with you. We lost virtually everyone, although we managed to keep hold of our Yeti. Excellent. We've uh, managed to abandon our camp once again. Terribly. I don't... Did I abandon it or did I lose it? I don't... Either way, we haven't got a camp. So that's going to take its toll on our sanity. Hopefully we'll be able to buy one this time around. We did, however, manage to pick up a, the charismatic perk, which means that we'll be able to recruit two people and take our trek back up to full at the start of this one, which is good, basically. That's, we, we need that. Um, I think storage capacity is going to be an issue this time around. And, uh, yeah, sanity is the big one. I don't think we're going to finish first with this guy, but just to finish at this point would be lovely. With that all being said, this time around, we can go to the deadly jungle. The strange desert. Ugh, mummies. Uh, we've got the horrible Arctic. I wouldn't agree more with that. Or we have the Guajaja jungle. Three shrines, a mission, a village, and a portal. You know what? It's special. We're special. We have to be special to keep playing this. Let's start the expedition. After a good night's rest, I made my way to the docks. We had a little time before the ship would be ready, so I imagined what lay beyond the horizon. Soon after my arrival, the hunter approached me. He was eager to see the evidence of Snarf Rattle's death. Here you go, sunshine. We handed over Snarf Rattle's pelt. The hunter nodded quietly, and I saw a faint sign of sadness crossing his weathered face. Just give me my money. I obtained new funds as we move of our efforts. A woman approached me with a request. She told me about her missing husband, a former adventurer who failed to return from his last expedition. She begged me to try and find him, and if he was still alive, return him safely back into her arms. We'll try, good madam, we'll try. I nodded gratefully and promised to seek out her loved one. Word of my endeavours still needed to spread, and the harbour remained almost empty for the remainder of the day. At least someone came and was curious to join our trek. Lieutenant Robert Obadiah, the mountain trooper, he's a super trooper, Hopefully not set fire to me. Sexies? I don't think that's going to matter. We're a bit of a sausage party here, I believe. Yeah, we've, we're doing all right. Um, well, there's the irony of taking the uh, charismatic perk when only one person turns up to go onto your ship. But hey-ho. Here he is. I could surely use a resourceful trooper and put Lieutenant Robert Obadiah in my service. Oh! Hang on a sec. There were far more famous adventurers preparing their boats right now, and the harbour remained almost empty for the remind remainder of the day. Thankfully, someone was inclined to show up and offer to join our expedition. Awesome. That's what we needed. I thought you had to pick from two at the same time, but apparently not. Abraham Gay? I say okay. We could use a sailor forged upon the waves like Abraham Gay and welcomed him to our party. Just in time, our ship was prepared to leave the harbour. Ahoy! I think that's spelt wrong. <laughs> so I've got two green dice. Three green dice, four green dice and a red. Four green dice, two red and two blue. And some brown. I need some more red dye. But we're good for green. We're good for green. Uh, right, we need to purchase equipment as well. Uh, okay, so uh, dice is okay for defense. I don't think we have to worry about attack die because we can just keep putting our shields up. Uh, we've got plenty of stuff to appease the natives might it be worth buying them with the pistol it's technically it's an extra attack die 50 over 80 i mean it gives us more stuff to hold how much is the bacon crispy pork you know what if we take that and, and that it scuppers us for what exactly what does it scupper us, scupper us for Climbing challenges and caves. But we've got two blue die for 50-50 chance on. And we've got three red die, was it? Or two red die? As soon as we upgrade Sergeant Scoot, that should change as well. I think that's our best bet. Uh, medically wise, yeah. You live with what you got, I guess. A long last, the vessel was prepared to head for distant shores. Well, we've got no money left, so we might as well set sail. On to Expedition 4. Didn't think we'd get here. Probably don't deserve to be here. Probably going to get killed very quickly. And we are converging on the 
center tile just about oh that is a good sign though that is a whole region wiped off that is tip top after an unexpectedly calm voyage one of the crew called land ahoy see that's how you spell ahoy i was curious to discover what adventures were waiting for us here i don't think we've got anything on the ship have we no so we might as well just skedaddle and hope for the best 37 29 in Croix oh yeah lo loving the loyalty oh straight onto a portal well that's pretty cool let's do this a mysterious arch stood before us a light swirling at its center seemed to form some kind of portal when all was said and done we risked all as we marched through the blinding light a moment later we walked out into alien landscape be a small one with lots of question marks I've had worse. We haven't got a lot of time here. We need to hit as many as we can. Hopefully keep the raptors at bay. Uh, stone circle. Is it really worth risking our... or well, wasting our time for? It's going to show us stuff which we won't be able to get to anyway. Although... Although, although, although. Let's upgrade Robert. Awesome. I will not let you down. Uh, I mean, do we attack the Raptor? We, we will get a little bit of sanity from Sergeant Scoot. Which could be handy. We might be able to even get to the next question mark. Let's do it. Uh, well, only the one. 12 health. Let's see what we can do with the gun. Stable shot for three. Or stopping shot. Bullet wall for two. Shield as well as... Yeah, that'll do. Why not? We'll smash him as well. We'll put on the taunt because you never know. Four left. I mean, we've got a decent amount of uh, stuff here. We should be all right. No? Tactical advantage? I'll go for a headbutt if I can. Is that it? All right. Guess we're putting the uh, shields up. That's alright, it's just a little hit. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. Boom. What you got? Take it all. 61. 20%, 58. That'll do. If we're very lucky, it'll be somewhere we can hold up for a minute. Or a shrine. A shrine's even better. I'll take a shrine. A shrine, uh, a shrine towered above us. It looked as old as time itself. I can make out an entrance on the upper platform. This is why we need rope. <laughs> We've, we'd have to climb up the exterior of, of the walls in order to reach it. Let's just do it. Bugger. We had to try. After a short motivational speech, we started to ascend the weather-torn wall. The tower demanded its tribute. Lieutenant Robert Obadiah was assuringly fatigued and fell, suffering severe lacerations from a jagged edge. With teamwork, we lifted him up to the upper platform, but he almost lost consciousness. You're supposed to be a climber. We had found a sacred altar room. If this place held any riches, I knew we'd find them here. An altar, illuminated with breathtaking ambiance, stood atop a plinth. Oh, we'll take all those. The moment we obtained the treasure, the earth began to rumble. We fled as fast as we could as the shrine collapsed before our very eyes and a volcano began to rise, spitting fire and oozing lava. Oh. Oh. Right. Well... I think it's fair to say we're going to die here. I mean, we could make it back to the forest, maybe, or back to the shrine. We're going to take a penalty anyway. I don't really want to use my food if I can help it. That's me cribble here. And I don't think my luck is enough to be able to get past the volcano to the next question mark before the fire erupts around it. Let's eat the strawberry and a little bit of the bacon. Do I, 
I mean, do I bother? Am I bothered? Oh, it's rubbish anyway on Sanity. 100%. What to get back? 100%. Get me there. Get me there. I'm going to regret this. I'm going to regret this. Let's do it. I want to get ready to cancel just in case. Oh, we're staying ahead of the fire? I think we're staying ahead of the fire. No, we're not staying ahead of the fire. Anxiety lay heavy upon us all that night. Abraham Gay told us that he had been so nervous that he dropped something during our last leg. That's fine. That's fine. I can handle that. Uh, we will attack the raptor, though, for a little bit of sanity. Or two. So let's throw that taunt up. Put you on. I think we're going to do it with some shields. They've got lots of dice. It's not really worth wasting a stun on. Just have to go for the kill on the one. Uh, you evade for three. Tactical advantage for three. Let's hold on to you and roll again. We might get lucky here. Shield for three, damage two. Yeah, let's do it. I'm going to hold on to you and hope to God we get another eye and a sword. You bugger. Hey ho. Oh, he took a beating. He took a beating. So let's do a stopping shot of three. Bullet wall. That kills him off. Again, we're not going for stuns. We're going for the kill, aren't we? So... We'll roll those and see what else we get. So let's get the taunt up. We're getting bleeding. That might help in the long run. Precise attack for three. I can hold on to you. Is it worth getting the die up? I think it is. Rip a leap. Tippity top. That'll do, kid. Oh, was it a bleeding of two? Even better. We deprived the dead of anything useful. Everything. Thank you. And uh, 40%. Let's make it another shrine. All right. Well, why not, I suppose. A temple long forgotten by mankind stood bathed in light before us. Its stone walls were covered with ornate engravings. The portal on lead inside emitted an eerie chill. Uh, ground. Ground, 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 ground. Take it all. A chasm. Awesome. So, we need to flee into the fire in order to survive. It's going to pounce out there. So, yeah, I, I need to do that and hope to God that we get teleported back before the fire uh, before the fire or the chasm gets us did we do it did we do it did we do it no we lost our strawberry we lost our strawberry how many days have we got left two is each tile a day because if so this is going to be mighty mighty lucky please Excellent. My vision became blurry. I rubbed my eyes and when I looked up again, I was back where I originally stepped into the terrible portal. <sighs> yep. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, zero sanity home, which is awesome. Return to the bloody ship. Right, let's get the storage up and running. All the gold in the world back. Uh, Raptor skin. Fame 20, funds 40. I mean, we've got plenty of stuff to trade anyway, so let's take those home. I'm going to keep hold of the Moonstones, because no doubt we're going to need them, if we find the Pyramid. <laughs> uh, let's rest. We prepared camp and I told the people to rest. We were at the brink of collapse. Even the warming flames of the campfire did now to ease our minds. Our people were losing faith in a discussion between Sergeant Lyafet Scoot and Sergeant or Lieutenant Robert Obadiah escalated into a heated argument. A moment later, the pair were violently rolling on the floor and trying to strangle each other with grave intentions. Well, we can do without Robert. He's almost dead anyway. 
Uh, bye bye. Our attempt to overpower Lieutenant Robert Obadiah was unsuccessful. He slipped away, screamed angrily at us, and fled into the wilderness. Hey ho. Small price to pay, I feel. I was hoping Edmund doesn't die. That's all. Edmund is my guy. Uh, we need to rest again. All this travelling led us to inherently know each other's perks, habits, and foibles. We discussed our different childhoods, which awarded me a greater appreciation of my team. You know, there's nothing in sight. This is ridiculous. As we packed up, I once more enjoyed the fresh sea air of the ship. Uh, so let's rest once more. I enjoyed the warm night and used the idle time to record my experiences in my diary. I noticed Abraham Gay observed me with an odd expression. Hmm. And we're done. Right, well, let's travel into the middle of this region and just see what's available to us, I guess. Uh, that's not too bad, all in all. Um, we'll see what you are first. A stone circle. We came across a stone circle that was obviously man-made. There were inscriptions etched into each rock. Perhaps they formed a sort of map. Reveal your ruins, reveal settlements, reveal camp points, reveal caves. Uh, it'd be good to know where the settlements are at this point. Pretty well spaced out. But we're alright, we're alright. And they're okay with us. This will be the time to put our standing up because we are going to annoy them. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Oh, we found a strawberry. We arrived at a native village. The people here effortless, effortlessly demanded respect as they were some form of religious unity. We were not the only visitors to this village. A wandering trader and self-proclaimed beastmaster had displayed a few mysteriously covered crates. Ooh! The natives observed us with curiosity. They were polite and offered us what they could. Let's see what you've got, Beastmaster. I greeted the Beastmaster. This trader seemed to roam the area to catch some of the wildest local wildlife. He welcomed us and presented his selection of beasts locked away in massive wooden cages. We can have a battle tiger. Now that sounds cool. I think I want a battle tiger. Obtain a rare creature from the Beastmaster. The Beastmaster agreed to my offer and handed me the chained beast. Wow! Dark Thaddeus. Wow, it's a beautiful name. <laughs> the brute had tortured and beaten the animal into submission. I was told I'd be able to control with the help of the chain. I would unleash hell upon my enemies now. Oh, yeah. Right, so let us trade, I guess. Nah, not a lot. I mean, you can have the meat. What can we have for that? Standing of two. We'll take the mangoes. The spirit. Beers would be ha handy, I think. If we were to take all the spears and the red mushroom and the ivory, not too fussed by the jewels. What about if I handed you all the teeth? Oh, wow, they really like that. And that would offset the... I mean, value of 10. Value of 10. Is that the same, then? It is. We'll do that simply because they weigh, they don't weigh anything, the teeth. So we'll keep hold of the teeth. I think I like that. It puts our standing up. So we have to rest a little. I told the team to unpack our things and prepare for the night. The people of the tribe were celebrating the maturation of one of the boys. He looked quite grown already. He had to sing a strange guttural song. They tried to tease me into participating in the ritual to prove my worth. Why not? Oh yeah, I can sing. I can sing. I mastered their challenge and had to lie down for a moment. They only gave me a curt nut as if what I did was the bare minimum. I could not believe my eyes. But that's good because it means we get to rest again and still be at zero with them. So we shall do that once more. An elderly couple asked me to settle an argument for them. They wished to know which gender was superior. Now we have a sexist, don't we? Do we have a sexist? I thought we had a sexist. Maybe we don't. Maybe it was this climber. Ah, that's alright. So uh, both are equal, I suppose. And 
that's as good as damn it, I suppose, without upsetting them even more. We'll leave. We'll leave. Now. Let's eat one of them, because I know they're worth ten. Can I mount? Ah, oh, I really wish I could have mounted my tiger, but hey-ho. Never mind. Do I want to upgrade anyone? Or I suppose we need to rely on, on fighting now, so we need to get Sergeant Lafayette scoot up as soon as we can. So we're going to have to get a few more region points on him. That being said, though, we'll go and check this out. Oh, dear, 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 dear. Cave. So we'll eat those three. Let's get rid of those. We approached the cave. The entrance led into the darkness of unknown depths. How many do we have? 50%? Oh, bugger. We would have to endure without a torch. Our march into the darkness began. Without warning, I registered something shifting in the gloom, accompanied by a foreboding cracking. A bad feeling crawled up my spine. Oh. Eventually, our eyesight adjusted to the darkness. Abraham Gay was nowhere to be found. There was no sight nor sound of him, and no one could explain what had transpired. We had arrived at a remarkable underground lake. The water was clear as day, sustaining the growth of vegetation, primarily many colourful mushrooms. If we were to invest a little time, we would surely be able to collect them all. All of them. All of them. Uh, right, so, can we can we actually use this purple mushroom yet? Elevated mood. Oh, okay. Oh, it puts loyalty up. Good to note. Good to note. Completely useless, but good to note. Uh, let's uh, get up on the hill and see what's happening. If we've got any luck, this will be mostly cut off. Or not. Or not. Oh, that's a lot of jungle. That's a lot of sanity we're going to lose. I think we just need to get in it, don't we? There's no hills about, which is annoying. 51? Uh, or we do we just stick to what we know? I suppose that's the safest option. Let's stick to what we know. What? Uh. <laughs> Elephant's graveyard. There's a mission over there. I mean, the only thing I'll be doing with the mission is dropping stuff off. And since we don't have anything really to drop off at the moment, I don't think it matters too much. This bleak and ancient place was situated in the midst of a swamp, littered with the remains of long dead elephants. For some unfathomable reason, hundreds of the impressive animals had come here to die. This place surely retains some trinkets of worth. We spread out and searched the area. Stack! Cool. And, uh, well, we need to get up there. There's no way around it. We'll just have to take the hit. And a hit we took. A sweat pulled over my brow and I had a hard time to keep my eyes open. Sergeant Lafayette's scoot had strayed from the path and tried to take a shortcut under a gnarled tree. The tree was rotten to the core and made an ugly sound as it came crashing down on him with all its weight. Sergeant Scoot screamed in anguish and I could... I could his foot sticking out in an unnatural angle. Well, we're going to try and save the man. Oh, well, look, is a little bit on our side this time. I broke away the branches, trapping Sergeant Lafayette Scoot and managed to free Sergeant Lajans. Sa That's such a bad word to say. Sergeant Scoot from his arboreal incarceration. He was severely injured, but alive. But alive. Uh, so we get a free run there, which is good. Right. Okay. It's 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 one it's one of those. It's one of those. Let's eat a mushroom. See a little bit further. Oh lordy. Alright, well let's explore the cave, I suppose. We approach the cave, bloody bloody blah. And we're buggered again. We heard something moving in the darkness. Is that what we're gonna fight? Oh we are! Okay, so we get to try out the um the battle tiger, which we can't roll. Uh, we can't mount. Wow. Oh. So they both they both have taunt die. That that'll work. That'll work. Uh so yes. Teeth or claws for you, claws for you. I could do with a stun. 
couldn't I? Do a stopping shot. I mean, yeah, we'll hold on to you and roll the rest. Ooh, that's what we need. So, let's focus on you. Big claws. Four left. Uh, I think we can get four out of that, can't we? Yep. Uh, big claws on you. Cool. That's 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 quite a combination. I will happily take that. Uh, oh, we don't actually explore the cave though. I mean, we got a little bit of sanity. That's pretty cool. Uh, one slot overburdened. Not really a lot I can do here. I mean, I can drop the meat. I don't think that helps us that much. Let's go for the cave again. I've got a good feeling about this cave. Light was overrated. Our eyes would soon adapt to the darkness. We pressed forth into the eerie gloom. I was surprised that we forged through without any other injuries. Eventually our eyesight adjusted to the darkness. We were intrigued to discover this was just the entrance to an underground tunnel. Right, let's explore it. Where are we going to? Oh. Well, okay, okay I, I can handle that. We're near the mission. That's pretty cool. 20% chance of going nuts. I can handle that. Oh, Sergeant's Giant Butterfly. I'd, oh, I'd already <laughs> withdrawn myself when I was awoken by a loud gunshot. I immediately ran to aid Sergeant Leofred scoot against an attack. But to my horror, I found him dead on the ground, killed through my own gun. How could this have happened? I vowed that he... He would take his place in history. Alright. So. First things first. We need to access the storage room. Uh, loot. So what are we dropping off here? We're dropping off the tusks. The jewels. And that's it really. I could do with the rest. Especially now that we've lost our. Our soldier. Yeah. Alright, what you got to trade, son? Sanity inducing alcohol? That'll work for me. Wow, he really likes his alcohol. How many is that going to cost me? One? You know what? You can keep it. You can keep that sunshine. We'll just we'll just wait around a bit. We'll stay. The priest was greedy. If we desired to rest in this cleansed space, we would have to take make a donation. How many? Six? Uh, that'll work. That'll work. The priest scurried off for a while, but returned with several bottles of whiskey that he was inclined to share with us. I'll drink for that. We accepted his offer and passed the whiskey around. It was a splendid vintage, and we enjoyed the evening immensely. So, I mean, we're going to have to stay again, aren't we? We're going to have to stay again. Uh, you can have all my teeth. The remainder of the evening was uneventful. We soon drifted off to sleep. 70. I mean, we could possibly do it once more. Uh, I mean, a strawberry's not going to get as far, is it? At all. Oh, I begr I'm begrudged to do that. I am begrudged to do that. You know what? Screw it. I'm not wasting any more here. We shook hands and he prayed for us. If he, if he liked us that much, he would have bloody left us stay for free. Then it was time to go forth to new adventures. So I think now is a good time to end this episode. Oh, it's not it's not looking good. I'll be honest with you. I mean, look, 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 look. We've got drastic opposite ends of the map. We still need to look around we have virtually no one oh although we can upgrade edmund tip top uh we have no way of gaining sanity uh we have no way of producing sanity uh, uh, by ourselves we've just got to hope that we get some lucky rolls as far as places to camp over which aren't going to cost us a bloody arm and a leg but i can't see that happening so the next episode might be a short one 
I will forewarn you. But for now, thank you for watching. As always, a like is appreciated. And I'll catch you on the next one. Take it easy. Thank <laughs> you.